Hey guys, this is Mama Maid. Welcome back to another Coupon Topic Tuesday video. I have a playlist linked in the description box below of all the other Coupon Topic Tuesday videos that I have done. There's a whole lot of them, so if you're new to my channel, definitely click on that and watch the ones that would be of interest to you. And again, I'm always up for suggestions for new topics and specific questions that you would like for me to devote a whole video to. So leave those in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. Today's topic is going to be the reality of expiration dates. This is something that all of us couponers really need to consider for a couple of reasons. Um, when we're going out couponing and doing hauls, especially when we're grabbing a lot of one specific item, which a lot of times that is how the deals work, you have to grab a couple of a you know specific item. Um, and those items all have quote unquote expiration dates. I know there are a lot of differing opinions on what is the true expiration date. Um, some things I am completely okay with using if they're past the expiration date, but some things are really not okay to use past the expiration date. We're not going to go through all the things that you should and shouldn't use past expiration date, um, but it's just something that we need to consider. So first thing when we're doing expiration dates is our organizing of our stockpile. Yes, my hand can be up here as being a little guilty of this. When we bring home new things, we need to make sure that we are pushing the old things to the front of the shelf or however you store things and sticking the old stuff to the back. A lot of times, guys, when I'm in a hurry, I just go down there and just stick it wherever there's an empty spot, right? That's not really the best thing to do because when you need that item, you're going to just grab the first thing you can grab, right? So organizing and putting things away can really help us with the expiration dates of things. Another thing is to be aware of how many of a specific item that you already have. So on my stockpile shelves, I have them organized. Um, gosh, it's been like two years probably since I've done a stockpile video. I would like to get one done for you guys. It's just my basement is so full right now of baby clothes that I need to go through and diapers getting ready for this other baby. So it's just really full right now and just not convenient. But anyway, I do have specific spots on my shelves for, for specific items. And when those spots are full, anything that I bring in extra goes into my Christmas gift boxes or my donation boxes for uh, for our church. I, I don't just like keep piling things on there. Um, so we need to be aware of how many of certain items we have. If we already have enough, either one, don't do the deal, or two, do the deal and give it away, donate it. Let someone know you're doing the deal and ask them if they want to pay you for it, sell it, whatever you want to do. It's just be aware of what you have. Now, I have already, if I had older product, I will, and it's not expired, I will pull the older product off to donate and keep the newer product for myself if I just haven't felt like we've gone through that fast enough. So you can always do it that way. Just either way and be aware of how many specific items you have. So... Certain things, like I said, I'm okay with using past expiration date. Um, for instance, floss. I don't understand why floss has an expiration date. It's kind of weird to me. I don't understand. Uh, I guess it's maybe a FDA thing. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, there some things and like toothpaste already, guys. I have used past like a year expiration date and it's it has been just fine. Um, certain hair care products um, have been just fine. Now, I have noticed I did purchase some kind of, I don't even remember what it was. It was some kind of hair product. And towards the bottom of it, it kind of got nasty, like thicker down at the bottom. So I did have to throw that away. And it's really sad to have to throw items away. Even if you did get them for free and you have to throw them away, that is just, it's hard to do because... You know, people who, there's people out there who would have used this item and you just had to throw it away. Um, be careful though of what you're throwing away. Some things can still be used, 
but I think some places won't take donated expiration items. So just be aware of that. Um, one more thing I wanted to let you know about is the food expiration. I know not all couponers are food couponers, but um, most of you know that I love couponing at Giant. It is my favorite because food is something that is expensive. It's getting more expensive. And um, I just like to have a stockpile of food. You can only use, you know, so much like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste. You can only use so much of that. But food is a constant rotation. It's always getting used up. Um, so I like to stockpile on food. And you just have to watch on that as well, especially about pulling things to the front. I have had cereals that are like two months expired. We ate them and it was just fine. But um, you really need to watch that because if it gets too long, it could just get stale or nasty. So before I close off, I'm going to end this uh, video with, with kind of an embarrassing story that happened with an expired product. Um, so I noticed, this is kind of, this is embarrassing, but I noticed that I kept smelling something. It wasn't bad, but it was weird it was almost like a sweet smell but not something that I was familiar with and I'm like what is that smell well it took me a couple days to figure out that my deodorant was expired by like a year and I was like what in the world I hope other people haven't picked up on this so I ditched that deodorant and got another one and it was just fine that smell went away but you guys I was smelling myself now, it wasn't that horrible BO smell like people don't wash themselves and haven't used deodorant like, I don't know, ever. It was not that smell. That's why I didn't pick up on it and I wasn't, I wasn't familiar with that smell. I didn't even know what it was until I figured it out. So, especially deodorant, guys, watch the expiration dates on that. Um, yeah, you don't want to go around stinking because you're too cheap to you know, just get another deodorant from your stockpile. So that is my embarrassing story for expiration dates. I think we're done talking about this. If you want to let me know anything that you have used or have not used past expiration date, why? And maybe some tips that you do about the expiration date thing. Um, something that concerns me is when I see people with their garages full of things. I'm like, wow, how in the world do you end up accumulating that much stuff and not having things go expired, especially food items? So that's it for this video on the reality of expiration dates. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.